for our last example, we're going to solve the following system by graphing minus 2x minus y equals 5 and 6x plus 3y equals 12. As usual, I need to find some points. Starting out with the top equation. Minus 2x minus y equals 5. I'm going to go ahead and let x equals 0, so I'll find the y-intercept. Negative 2 times 0 minus y equals 5. Negative y equals 5. Go ahead and multiply both sides by negative 1. And I'm going to find that y equals negative 5. So my first point is 0, negative 5. For my second point, I'm going to let x equal negative 1. And if I insert that in here, I'm going to find that y equals negative 3. I have two points. I have my first point as the y-intercept when x is 0 y is negative 5. For my second point, I have x is negative 1, y is negative 3. So I'm all set to connect these points and form a line. Next equation, 6x plus 3y equals 12. I'm going to again let x equal 0. Go ahead and substitute that in for x, which will give me 3y equals 12. Dividing both sides by 3, I get y equals 4. So at my first point, x is 0, y is 4. For my second point, I'm going to let x equal 1. And if I worked that out, I would see that I would get 6 times 1 plus 3y equals 12, or 3y equals 6. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that y equals 2. So my second points are, set of points is 1, 2. So now I have 0, 4, and 1, 2. Now plot out this second line. When x is 0, y is 4. When x is 1, y is 2. And what I end up with is two parallel lines. Because parallel lines never intersect, there are no solutions. There is no solution to this system of equations. And remember, another way to, to check your answer on this one since you don't have a set of solutions to insert, is to figure out the slope because these two lines are going to have the same slope if they are truly parallel. And remember, if we write this in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, we can find the slope. So for the first one, negative 2x minus y equals 5. What I need to do is move the 2x to the other side and multiply by negative 1 and I'm going to find that y equals minus 2x minus 5. So my first slope is negative 2. So the slope of this first line is negative 2. For the second line, I'm going to also put this in slope-intercept form, the second equation. 6x plus 3y equals 12. I need to move the 6x over to the other side. So minus 6x plus 12, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I'm going to get negative 2x plus 4. Again, I get this a slope of negative 2. So the slope for this line is also negative 2. So I've verified that these actually are parallel. They're not going to intersect. There is no solution to this set of equations. So today on Educator.com, we learned how to solve a system of equations using the graphing method, and next time, We'll go on and learn some other methods to solve systems of equations.